All right. In three, two. Hey, everyone, and welcome to it. The season finale of Uncle Dan's Best Bets. Before we get into the picks, and of course, I've got plenty of them. A 12-pack once again for you for Super Bowl Sunday. I just want to say thank you for everybody that has followed along. Um, every bet has been documented, every pick along the way. It has been the best season in the four years that I've been doing Uncle Dan's Best Bets. This is the best season I have had. Uh, and the comments, I, I just really appreciate them. So um, some people really like the insight. Some people don't. Uh, I know one week I've, I've had a couple bad weeks. But overall, this season has been awesome. Um, so again, I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll get right into the picks. Um, but it has been a lot of fun. We enter the Super Bowl. 96, 84, and two. 12 games over 500, hitting 53%. And we are four wins away from a hundred wins on the season. We bounce back after a really bad divisional round with a really strong uh championship Sunday. Went seven and four and pretty much dominated the AFC championship game. We had sacks from Frank Clark and Chris Jones. Joe Burrow over passing attempts would have swept it. Would have swept the championship game had there not been a holding call on the Isaiah Pacheco anytime touchdown. So again, the previous years we had gone, um, uh, the previous three years combined, we had uh, 168 wins. We have a chance to have 100 wins this season. We fired a lot of games, and guess what? Yeah. I got a lot more here for this Sunday because we are going to end off in style. Now listen, this is a really close game. I don't think you need me to, to come on here and say that um, really tight. I think both ways I will get to the total in my pick at the end. But before that, I got 10 props. I got six Eagles props and I got four Chiefs props. I'm not doing coin toss, not doing national anthem. That's just more luck. Um, some of this stuff is is going to take some luck, too, but it's just more of um, a little more skill with, with betting and, and how we go for there. So I got six plays for the Eagles. And I'll get to those first, okay? Eagles are favored in this game by one and a half points. First one, uh, Miles Sanders over 58 and a half rushing yards. Now, some of these I locked, I'm um, doing this on Thursday night. Some of these I locked earlier in the week. Um, I know this has gone up. I think some of the books have it at 60. Um, but Miles Sanders over 58 and a half rushing yards. Chiefs rushing defense isn't, or Chiefs rushing defense isn't great. I think a massive advantage in this game is, again, not some all 22 guy, but the Eagles have a massive advantage on the offensive line. And I also think that the Eagles will want to keep Mahomes on the sidelines. I think they want to keep the ball on the ground. I think Miles Sanders will be the bell cow. It is tough when you, you try and factor in the previous games because they've been such big blowouts in both of them for the Eagles, but I really think he gets involved. So I like the Miles Sanders over rushing yards. I like the Devonta Smith over 61 and a half receiving yards. Now this one's courtesy of Warren Sharp. Um, really smart analytics guy. Um, he talks about how in the four games that Devonta Smith has faced teams that play over 45% of cover two, which is two high safeties. Devonta has gone off um, about in four of those in three of those four games. He's gone for over a hundred yards. He's had at least seven catches in like all of them. He's dominated them. So Nobody plays more cover two in the NFL than the Chiefs. So that is just kind of a system play. A guy that dominates cover two. I will take the over 61 and a half receiving yards. We'll go back to the well, what we've done before. Dallas Goddard over four and a half receptions. He uh, cashed that for us the previous week. He only had like 26 yards, but still had five catches. I think he cashed in like the third quarter for us. So I will take that again. We have been Kenneth Gainwell fans. This entire offseason, we will do it again. Uh, this entire postseason, sorry. Kenneth Gainwell. Now, this one, I have over 34 and a half rushing and receiving yards. Uh, DraftKings and most of the sports books, you have a proper, you can combine them. While I think Miles Sanders is going to be the bell cow, I think Kenneth Gainwell has shown that he is uh, provides a boost to this, this offense. I think he can be involved in the screens. I'd like to. If you want to sprinkle something on another one, this isn't an official play, but I like the Kenneth Gainwell over one and a half receptions. I think they get him involved in the offense. He's provided a burst. So again, combined rushing receiving yards for Kenneth Gainwell over 34 and a half. 
And then on the defensive line, I got two for the Eagles. Last week, I picked two sacks. It was Chris Jones and Frank Clark, and they both had him in like the second possession. I think this Chiefs offensive line is okay, but we know how dominant this Eagles defensive line is. And we know that there's going to be a lot of attention paid to Hassan Reddick. And the Eagles rotate defensive linemen guys so much. It's like a hockey change. Um, so I picked two guys that I think are worth the shot. They're both plus money. Um, one of them is like plus 180, and that's Brandon Graham over three quarters of a sack. Talking to Mike Catalan about this, and he just kind of simply said, he'll get a sack. He's just kind of a big game hunter. That's why they brought him in here. They can move him around, and I think Hassan Reddick is going to get a lot of the attention. I think that'll open up one-on-one -on -one opportunities for Brandon Graham, as well as Josh Sweat. I will also take him over three quarters of a sack. So those are the two sack props. I think he was like plus 120 on DraftKings when the last time I looked. So again, I think that there's a massive advantage. I think the, the Eagles have a big advantage on both sides of the, uh, of the line. And I know Andy Reid will be smart enough. I know he'll scheme up some things. I think they'll, they'll help more to Hassan Reddick side. So I think that opens up opportunities for other guys. I picked these two because one Brandon Graham's a big, big game player. And then Josh sweat is another guy that I just think has the speed to get around some of these defensive tackles um, and get a sack. So those are my six Eagles plays. My two or my four plays for the chiefs. Now I will take Patrick Mahomes over half an interception. Hasn't thrown an interception yet in this postseason. Um, I think he's going to be under pressure a lot from this Eagles defensive line. So because of that, Mahomes hasn't played great in all of his Super Bowls. to be quite honest. Um, He's kind of been kind of been some of his worst games. Um, so I think he turns the ball over. I think this Eagles defense is legit. I think they pressure him. I think Mahomes may try and do be superhero sometimes. Uh, and I think the Eagles get a turnover. I will take the over half an interception. I think it was only like minus 105. I thought there was really good value there um, in rooting for this Eagles team to force a turnover. Also, love Isaiah Pacheco. We had him for an anytime touchdown last week or two weeks ago. A cash and then a because of holding penalty. I like him to get involved over 68 and a half rushing and receiving yards. Look, this Eagles defense, if it has a flaw, it's rushing defense. And if there's one thing, Mahomes, I think his ankle's fine. I talked about it, you know, going into the championship Sunday. I think he's gonna be fine. I think they're gonna scheme around it. I think he'll be fine. Um, to neutralize a good pass rush, you gotta run the ball. Uh, Pacheco runs the ball hard. We've seen that over the last few weeks. He's getting about 11 to 12 catches. Um, he's also running out in, in uh, he had 26 passing routes uh, in the championship game. He's going to be a guy that I think they're going to dump the ball off to, and then he can get upfield. So I really like the over 68 and a half rushing and receiving yards combined for Isaiah Pacheco. I think he will be the safety valve for Mahomes. Kelsey will be double teamed pressure coming at him. I think he can also dump it off. So I think you can, benefit Pacheco from the Eagles one weakness being running the ball or rushing defense, as well as him being the safety valve there. Also, uh, Marquez Valdez Scantling over two and a half receptions. I think it's minus 120 when I looked at it. Um, he had a massive game in the AFC championship game against the Bengals. I think that builds confidence for him. We know he can catch some passes. I think it's gonna be a lot of short passes again, just like I talk about with Pacheco. I think that that is another guy that when you have a big game like that, I think it breeds confidence that Mahomes goes, okay, I can, I can go to this guy and I can trust him in big spots. Um, they were all banged up. We don't know about uh, Kadarius Tony's health. Um, we know that uh, Hardman will not be playing. Somebody's got to step up. Uh, and I'm going to go with MVS to have over two and a half receptions. I will also go with Juju Smith-Schuster over three and a half receptions. This was actually plus money. This was like plus 105. I think there's going to be a lot of short passes. I think that there will be some screens, bubble screens, things that will neutralize this Eagles passing attack. So pass rush. So I think that quick passes. So MVS and Juju both going their over receptions, two and a half for MVS and three and a half for Juju Smith-Schuster. Okay. So those are my 10 props for players for the game, six on the Eagles, four on the Chiefs. So you'll have something to, I got something to, to squeeze on both sides of the ball. Now to the total and the sides. So close. It really is coin flip. I think both of these are, are, are coin flips. Uh, they're, these aren't going to be my biggest bets. I'll tell you that much. And to be honest, I like, I'm an over guy. 
right? We always talk about life's too short to bet the over. I just see this game being a ground and pound game. I really do. And I see the game with a lot of runs, and that means the clock's running. So I'm going to take the under as much as it, it makes my skin crawl. Under 51 for the Super Bowl, 11 out of the last 19 Super Bowls. It's not a crazy number, but they've gone under. Look, these two offenses are dynamic, but I think both teams will have a little bit of a conservative edge to them. I think the Eagles want to control the ball on the ground and keep Mahomes on the sidelines. And I think that there is not a big play offense for the Chiefs, so that'll have to be a methodical dink and dunk the way down the field. Both of those, to me, keep the clock running, and I think the under hits. So while it started out at 48, it got bet all the way up to 51. I will take the under 51 as much as it kills me. Um, I will take the under. And finally, this is maybe more um, trying to figure this game out. I think the Eagles have the much better roster. I think they are better up front. I don't think that's any secret. And they talk about how you know football games are won in the trenches. Eagles are better roster, better skill position players, all of those things. But they still have Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid. And I think they have the better coach and the better quarterback. So I will take the Chiefs money line. No point in taking the point and a half. I'll just take the money line at like plus 110. I think this is a legacy game for Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid. I think when Patrick Mahomes won his first Super Bowl, we all looked at it. Well, how many is he going to win and all these things? All of a sudden, if he loses two Super Bowls in a row, it's tough. They're talking about this team being a dynasty. You got to win at least two Super Bowls to even be considered a dynasty. I thought there was a lot of pressure on them going into the AFC Championship game, um, and they rallied around being that underdog. Um, they used that as fuel and motivation. I think for Andy Reid, um, you lose a third Super Bowl, it's not great. It's just not great. Um, you're one in three as a head coach. Obviously, he's a Hall of Famer, but it's just that sense of, I think this game, they need this not in the, the immediate, but when you look back at their career, uh, I, I think this game means a ton to their legacy. So I think there's a lot of love for the for the Eagles, what they've done, but I don't think that I'm very impressed by beating you know Josh Johnson and the Niners in a game that got away from them. And as much as I love the Giants, they were just outmatched in that game. So I, I think that this Chiefs team has will rally around the fact that they are underdogs in a Super Bowl. Um, I think they can lean on their experience. So I will take the Chiefs in a tight one. But I think it's going to be a lower scoring game. But I think it will be fun nonetheless. Um, again, Andy Reid, two weeks time to to uh, to plan for this. I, I just like the pedigree there. So again, thank you so much for everything. Everybody that has supported, liked, commented, uh, shared their bets. I, I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments who you have in the Super Bowl and why. What is your final score prediction? I probably have this game being something like 24-21, 24-23, somewhere in that range. I think it's a lower scoring game than than maybe we we want. So maybe it's a little bit of an emotional hedge. I have always have Chiefs fans in my mentions. Um, so maybe it's I'm rooting for the Eagles, but if I lose, at least I'll win a bet. Maybe that's maybe that's where my head's at. Um Thank you. Thanks again. Seriously. Really appreciate it. everybody that's followed along with the bets. I really appreciate it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe I'll do an end of the year recap video. Um, but if I don't, thanks so much for following along. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. I'll catch you next time. Best of luck. Enjoy the Super Bowl and best of luck with all your bets. We'll catch you next time here on the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel.